and talk about some other tackle considerations and I want you to pay attention to the way that Rod handles this fish I'm about to hook up with here. I really like that parabolic action of a mod fast rod gives you here. This is a Fenwick Elite Tech that I've been testing out and you can see the rod loads pretty evenly. It has a, a what would be considered a moderate fast action. And you're going to notice on this fish that the hook isn't really penetrated very well. I think a couple of things. I think this uh, the hook on this nickel saber swim jig isn't as good. It's not as heavy duty of a hook as a dirty jig's hook. And also that Elite Tech is, is maybe a little bit light um, to really drive things home. So, and it could have just been how things worked out there. Here's a couple of dirty jig selections here. This is a perch color. And this is a gambler trailer. <coughs> Another option is uh, is the Kitek trailer on the perch swim jig. And I like to have a perch one in a, in a darker color, one kind of rigged in the day. The other thing I'm a big believer in is using uh, braid as my main line and then running a, a fluorocarbon leader, the, the leader material, um, the Sense Sense P line. Fluorocarbon material is really good stuff. And then I'll typically um, connect the, the two lines with an Alberto knot. And you can see me kind of going through how I do this here. I'm kind of fumbling through this because it was pretty cold this morning. But it's uh, pretty easy. I usually go about seven wraps down and then seven wraps back up. Again, that's 50 pound braid and a 12 pound leader. Sometimes I'll use 15, but the majority of my swim jig fishing uh, at potholes or, or most places, I do 12 pound line. I just feel like I get a little bit better action out of the bait. And the, uh, the 15 is also good, but I, I my rule of thumb is to get away, you know, use the lightest line I can to get away with it. The other thing that's important is to, that that first loop you create is to make sure you bring that, your braid after you make all your wraps, bring your braid back out the same way that you brought it in. So it should go out the same direction that it goes in. And then you just wet it and cinch it down and I pull it pretty much as tight as I can and get it really tight and snip off both ends there. And you may be wondering why why I use the leader. Um, several reasons. I, one is it gives me some a little bit of shock in the line. The braid has no give in that fluorocarbon. Uh, gives me a little bit of shock. Um, I've also used mono or regular uh, fluorocarbon leaders. This, I think the leader material fluorocarbon is the best, the most durable. Uh, it also reduces any concerns of visibility in clear water. Uh, it sinks well. And it, uh, I think it handles wood cover better. So the willows at potholes uh, doesn't have as, as bad a tendency to bite into that willow cover. <laughs> 